Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video, I will be showing you how to check if the outlets in your house are wired correctly, right? And all you need to do this is any of these two devices, which we call a outlet tester. This one is the outlet tester and this is the GFCI outlet tester. The main difference between these two devices is that one can test GFCI outlet and one can't, right? But how does this test a GFCI outlet is that it has a button on it that you will press, which is a test button that works same as the test button that is on your GFCI outlet. So to me, this doesn't really make any sense because most of our GFCI outlet already has a test button on it. So you can use that test button to test the outlet. But Nonetheless, you can still get one of these if you want. This is the Klein Tools GFCI Outlet Tester. This one is the RT210. There are some more modern ones right now. And this is the regular outlet tester, also from Klein Tools, which and this model is the RT105 Outlet Tester. And if you are a regular viewer of my videos, you can tell that I am a big fan of client tools this is not a promotion for them in any way shape or form as a person who does electrical work i am in love with client tools but this is not a ad let's just get into the video all right so i use this one to show you my demonstration right and i really hope you can see it clearly yes right so starting from top you will see light off right that is no lights are off that is mean there is no power and then you have a list of other stuff like if the light is on in the middle you see where you have the three blocks and you see the orange in the middle and the other two blocks are empty that is an open ground and then when light is on the right that is an open neutral and then when you have no light at all that is an open hot when you have no light in the middle and light on the left and on the right, that is hot and ground reverse. You reverse your hot and ground, right? Where you have the hot that should be ground and where you have the ground that should be hot. If you have two lights on to the left and none to the right, that is a hot and neutral reverse. Where you have your hot, there should be neutral and where you have a neutral, there should be reverse. And if you have two red lights to the right, that means your wiring is correct, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and check some outlets and see if they are wired correctly. And of course, I know that they are wired correctly because I wired them. But we're still going to check them for demonstration purposes. So this one is the GFCI outlet tester. And practically, they are saying the same thing in terms of what is happening with them or the labeling right so first let me test a gfci outlet and show you and show you what i was referring to so this is my gfci outlet right i'm going to put my regular outlet tester in it as you can see two lights on to the right which means that this wiring is correct right now for my gfci outlet tester plug it in you realize that the two lights to the right is also on but if we go ahead and press this button you see our gfci outlet has tripped right and if you can just reset this but what i was saying is that you, de you don't necessarily need that to test it, your GFCI outlet if, if it is working correctly because on our GFCI outlet we have a test button and if you press the test button it also trips and it tells you that our GFCI outlet is working correctly or it is wired correctly yes wired correctly and working correctly so let's just check some other outlets in the house and see if I've been doing a good <laughs> I plug my ring light out. I plug my ring light out just now. Pour it back on. Anyway, so let's test some outlets. A few moments later. 
outlet number one and that is correct now let's move on to the other one later this is outlet number two and this is also correct as we see our two lights to the right are on which means it is correct i really hope the fan is not blowing into the mic and you guys can't hear me clearly one hour later this is outlet number three and the final one that we'll test and we see that the wiring is also correct so there you have it guys this is how you test if your outlet in your home is wired correctly using the client tools outlet tester and this was another video brought to you by Dana's electrical services for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Dana's electrical services thank you thank you thank you